you, Mr. Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. I saw today's theme, America's Favorite Cities, and it became obvious to me what I needed to share with you today. My most recent excursion to what I think is America's favorite city of all, the one city that the Toastmaster just spent some time educating you about, which is New York City, specifically the borough of Manhattan. It was last summer, I went to visit my sister who was in New Jersey, and while she was away at work for the day, I decided I need to go and take a little tour, be a tourist for a while, for a day, and just go solo into Manhattan, a city where they staged so many, about a million romantic comedies, the city where Spider-Man swings, Manhattan, the borough with the densest population in New York City, the borough where the city originally began. So I take the train over, I get off at the World Trade Center stop, and it's quite sobering to see a spot, ground zero, where you know that there once were two of the tallest buildings in the world standing, now just an area with a fence around it, dust everywhere, construction, cranes. It's quite sobering. And across the street, there is a plaque or a mirror on the wall that says, may we never forget. And it shows firemen in position, you know, doing the rescue services that happened in the fateful day of 9-11. And that was quite the thing to take in. But I had to move on. Went, spent some time meandering, walking through Broadway Street Boulevard, the Wall Street areas. And all the while just taking pictures of everything. All the skyscrapers, tall buildings, Sam Cessna. Quite often taking self-portraits of you know, me standing with the buildings in the background trying to look cool all the time. <laughs> <laughs> poses. But I go through, of course, I had to see the bull because I'm on Wall Street. So I go and get my picture taken by a friendly, helpful Chinese tourist. And once done with Wall Street, I could make my way down to the seaport where once again took more pictures of the beautiful ships that were down there and a lovely European lady helped take my photo at that time. Now I walked a bit more north. While still at the seaport, I saw the Bodies Exhibit Museum. Now this was probably the most memorable moment of the trip. The Bodies Museum, the Bodies Exhibit I should say, is one where they preserve human bodies and dissect them to show you the various systems, such as the skeletal system, circulatory, nervous system, and so forth. So I went in, I'd heard about the Bodies Exhibit before, and I was glad for the chance to actually visit one since they have a permanent setup in New York City. And it was quite a thing to see. They'd have, they introduced you first to the skeletal section, <coughs> you know, a clavicle here, a femur there, a rib cage there, and in every room, just seeing the human body split up into different pieces where you could appreciate each system for what it is, it was very, quite a thing to see. I loved how they take each body, instead it's preserved, you're always seeing his muscles, but they have them in these athletic poses, like the guy with the discus ready, or like the athletes ready to run, it's just to see them frozen in motion is quite a thing to see. They even have fetuses, which is something you have to prepare yourself for if you walk in. Once done with the body's exhibit, I step outside and right out the door, I see this huge crowd at the pub. And it dawns on me why I was seeing so many green and gold shirts walking around that day. It's the day when the Netherlands plays Brazil in the World Cup. So we have a huge crowd out there, just, you know, going around cheering their teams and the moment that the referee blew his final whistle and they realized that Netherlands had upset Brazil and won, it was pandemonium. It was just crowd went wild out there. And it also helped to see a little setup right beside that where they had kids coming and playing football. I'm sorry, soccer. <laughs> <laughs> where they were learning. So that quite complemented what was going on with the official World Cup match going on over there. But I couldn't stay too long. I have a lot of my hand to do. So off I go to the Brooklyn Bridge. And so far I've been walking, and it's surprising how many things I could get to while still walking and being on foot. But the Brooklyn Bridge took forever. I know it's one of the longest buildings available in the world. I'm sorry, the longest bridges. But you know, I'm walking on the bridge. I see the arches up in the distance. And I walk, and I walk, and walk some more. I'm still not even over water. But eventually I get there, I can take some more cool pictures, and it was worth it. Walk down some more, 
go through Chinatown, which smells exactly like you'd expect Chinatown to smell with all the spices and the fruits and fragrances. And from that point, I find the metro. I got to get to Midtown, to the Empire State Building. I mentioned this last week in the table topics, but the lines take forever. At their website says the Empire State Building lines are a thing of legend. So you have ones for a sidewalk all the way up to the the 86th floor, which is where most people get to take in the view. And that was a beautiful sight because you know, I could get to take my camera and go all the way around until I can get the entire view of New York into one panorama photo, which is quite a beautiful thing. <coughs> I thoroughly enjoyed that. I also had, I also enjoyed the diversity of languages I heard up there, just different ones all around me, everywhere. A French lady helped take my photo up there too. And from that point, I thought I had enough of uh, Manhattan just for that day. You know, my sister was ready to go home and I had to leave. But even though this might be old head for many of you here who have lived in New York, I just think being able to just, on a whim, take that tour by myself for the day was quite an interesting experience, an excursion I will remember. So that was my Manhattan meander. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Craig. If you would fill out your comments.